This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. Welcome back to Miles Edge, your face attorney investigations and prosecutor's path, everybody. We're continuing with case number four, the forgotten turnabout. Marty thus far is calling that the real K is dead and that freaking Jill is the fake posing. K. Posing? Yeah. Is posing as K. Mm -hmm. <laughs> April 5th, 2.36 p.m., Grand Tower Wait. PIC meeting room. There's some chick with purple hair. There or is. I'm assuming it's a chick. And apparently, Purple hair and, and um, headphones. And apparently the PIC meets in the Grand Tower. Pain in charge. Oh, wait, the guard's here. Yep. The, this room is... Would this room happen to be... Yes, sir, it's the Prosecutorial Investigation Committee's meeting room. What? It's here? I had heard that they recently moved out of the Prosecutor's Building. But to think that they moved here, of all places. Grand Tower pamphlet data updated. That doesn't look like K at all, so... Uh, Mr. Edgeworth, K! <laughs> Who is this, this lady? Is she wearing... Oh, she's got a stethoscope. I thought it was she's like... She's a doctor. I thought it was like a jaw thing, and then I saw the cord. Oh. So you're, she's she, wearing a palm. Oh, palm I can head. see. I see yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, oh, that lady. <laughs> she's Ugh, lost her she's job. Ugly. <laughs> she also looks like the female version of Egad with yep, purple hair. Yep, very much so. What brings you here? How are you holding up? Uh, we're in the middle of an investigation right now. Sorry, but who might this be? Ah, this is my granny. Mm, let me just. Hi there, Sunny. The name's Bonnie Young. Who the heck are you? She says. Yes, yeah, so um, Bonnie Yun can't actually really speak to anybody but her granddaughter. So if you want to do a fake grandma voice coming out of Karen's oh, mouth, that's okay, fine. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it is a pleasure to meet you. My name is Miles Edgeworth. I am a prosecutor. Miss Jensen, isn't Yun the name of... <laughs> Granny's the director of the Dai Young Hospital. This old lady is the director? Who are you calling old? She says. She can read my thoughts? Oh, so that granny is pretty important, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. I mean, yes, she is. Uh, these people are the patient's guardians. You know, with the one with the amnesia. Hmm, it seems she's a bit of an introvert. Hey, Sonny, want me to cure that bad case of the brownies for you? She says. <laughs> I'm afraid that's an incurable disease for Mr. Edgeworth, pal. Uh, really, Granny? You want me to say that? I ain't got nothing to say to you, whippersnappers. You're free to do whatever you want. You better not get in the way of my autopsy. Please wait. Where? No means no! Hey! You don't have the right to decide that, pal! <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what happened? S sorry Granny's the coroner, you see. And she's in charge of this case, so... Ugh. So I'm very sorry, but that's the way it is. What do you mean, that's the way it is, pal? What if her granny's actually a puppet? That'd be cool. <laughs> you're already trying- you're trying, trying to call all the plot twists, aren't you? <laughs> well, even if you ask me, I'm not sure who said it. You're not the one who said it? I kind of feel like... I'm watching a comedy act, sir. These two are weird. Well, we need to get back to the autopsy, so please excuse us. And take care. That looks like Emma Sky. I'm really concerned. What was with her attitude? We received permission to investigate. There shouldn't be any problems. That attitude of hers is a huge problem, sir! Mr. Edgeworth, what do we do now? We'll investigate the scene, of course. As a prosecutor, I cannot stand by and do nothing. Well then, let's begin. But the policeman said the dead person's also named Kay. Then, I'm pretty sure I'm not the Kay that you know, Mr. Edgeworth. We shall investigate that now. But, don't worry. There's no question that you are the K I know. Okay. 
an amnesiac K, and a corpse K. Both are connected to the Grand Tower. Okay. I'm certain that this case will lead me to Kay's lost memories. Begin investigation of the PIC meeting room. Let's talk to the best character first. You there? Tell me the situation about the security of this room. Yes, sir. To enter this room, a special key card is required. I see. In other words, not just anyone can enter this room. Mm -hmm. Logic is back, of course. So, the person who found the body was also... Yes, it was a member of the PIC who would come here for today's funeral. A member of the PIC. If not for this case, right now I would be. Oh, hey, Gumshoe's here. What's up, bro? Yes, sir! For a homicide to occur out of the blue like that, it sure is surprising, sir. I may be a detective, but when things happen so suddenly, my mind goes completely blank. And that's why I haven't noticed anything at all, sir. Hmm. It takes a certain kind of talent to be able to declare that so cheerfully. Uh, oh! Are you saying I'm talented? I I'm honored, sir! Being praised by Mr. Edgeworth! Those kind words! I'll never forget this moment! He looks so happy I can't bring myself to tell him that it's all a misunderstanding. I never thought the PIC's meeting room would be right under the viewing platform. It sure saved us the trouble of getting here. In fact, the PIC is actually mentioned in this pamphlet, sir. It's in the Grand Tower's little gossip column. I'll read it for you. The Prosecutorial Investigation Committee is located on the 50th floor of the Grand Tower. <laughs> and Porky's on the 100th floor. <laughs> Ooh, boy. It's a place where prosecutors turn into ex-prosecutors. Hmm. So come visit the 54 and see the de dejected looks on the prosecutor's faces. I, I am not making a dejected face. Hey, I'm just reading what's in the pamphlet, sir. What a pamphlet. That's so funny. The living K we have here and the dead K over there. Why do they have the same name? It can't just be a coincidence, sir. Indeed. However, we won't be able to answer that question unless until we examine the body. This is K, and that's Kaylee. <laughs> That's... No, never mind. <laughs> I was about to be like, that's the K from British Bake Off, but no, the, the, her name wasn't K. It's Steph. I don't know why I always thought her name was K. Why did you think her name was K? I don't K? know! <laughs> I'm just like, oh, it's K. No, that's Steph. Okay. Artie, you stupid. So... <laughs> it's all because of that crabby coroner. She is only doing her job. For now, all we can do is wait. Um, th then right now, since we have some time... Allow me to present one of my theories to you, sir. Ooh. The answer is simple. With all the advancements in scientific technology, what if the two Ks are clones? That's the only way this makes any sense. I had thought about that, except they look different. Let's investigate the other parts of the room until the autopsy is finished. Aw, please don't ignore me like that, sir. You have been ignored. Hey, Kay. Yes? Can I help with something? This is not Kay's normal theme. No, it's a remix. This sounds like music that you'd hear on Living With The Land. <laughs> to avoid being asked to leave Epcot, <laughs> please remain in your seat at all times. <laughs> Do not pick the nine pound lemons. <laughs> Do not get out of the boat and eat the fruit we're growing. <laughs> <laughs> the ride will stop. <laughs> this also sounds like, um... Masai's theme from Putt Putt and Saves the Oh, Zoom. yeah. A little bit. I can't move this rock. There's butt a giant butt. rock in the way, and it's too heavy to move by myself. Um, this is an amazing room. There's large boxes filled with books, a stone sculpture, and sparkly windows. Hmm. It seems you have also forgotten the names of objects. This might be helpful for recovering your memories. Just repeat after me. Bookcase. Broke safe. Stained glass. Stolen goods. Books on the law. Crooks on the lamb. Statue of the goddess. Snatched loot of the great thief. Are all her mistakes biased towards a certain way? Well, that's weird. Kay, until just a few days ago, you were calling yourself my assistant. Looking at me, is there anything you remember? Yes, just one thing. Mr. Edgeworth, on the viewing platform above us... Oh? You pointed at me and... 
Yes. With a really scary face, you interrogated me! That happened just a few minutes ago! Oh, poor Kay! The terror of Mr. Edgeworth badgering you for contradictions is your only memory! It must be scary, pal! Hopeless! The end of the world, pal! <laughs> I should show this detective what true terror really is! I'll show you what real you evil know. is! Okay, before you lost your memories, you got along well with Detective Gumshoe. Does looking at me help you remember anything, pal? Do I remember anything? Um... Hmm... Ah, oh, I know! For a while now, Mr. Edgeworth's been getting on your case! Th that's not a memory. It's just a pleasant part of my daily life. Isn't that right, Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, so Detective Gumshoe thinks it's pleasant. It seems I'll have to get on his case even more from now on. <laughs> it's my prosecutor's badge. Does this remind Is that me of you? a badge for protecting someone? Like a badge worn by a hero of justice, right? No. This is called a prosecutor's badge. I think what you're referring to would be a defense attorney's badge, right? I wonder. This badge makes me feel really nostalgic. Well, her dad was a prosecutor, so... someone really dear to me showed it to me a lot. Kay's father was a prosecutor. Perhaps little bits of her childhood memories are still remaining. <laughs> These days, we're learning to live with the land. <laughs> oh it sounds like that music that plays at the very end where you're seeing like, all the screens. <laughs> Never mind, I'm thinking of the wrong music. I'm thinking of the one at the beginning of the ride. At the beginning. No, the end of the ride, you hear that for like... I, I, now I remember. <laughs> How could I forget about that? I'm so sorry. With all the, like, the children holding tomatoes. Yep. And, like, corn. <laughs> and, and the guy who looks like Count Dooku a little bit. What picture is he on? Is he with the tomatoes? No, I think he's with the... Corn? I don't really remember what, <laughs> what fruit or vegetable he had. We're not here to talk about that, though. These books all seem really thick and heavy, sir. The PIC did just move in here. Moving all these books must have been a lot of work. Moving heavy objects is my specialty, sir. If they had just called me, I would have helped. Heh, <laughs> then perhaps I should ask the chairman if there's anything else left for you to move. Whoa! Th that was just a joke, sir. If I had to carry something up 50 stories, I wouldn't be able to do any more work today. Do they have elevators? Of course, I was joking too. But you were really going to carry things up the stairs? Oh, that's a lot of blood. Oh. These bookshelves are very well organized. Looking at them feels good. That's true! There's not even a speck of dust on them. But I'm also extremely dedicated to cleaning your office, sir. First I sweep, then I vacuum, then I wipe everything clean, twice, and then I wax the- It'd be nice if you were this dedicated to your real job. This is Lady Justice. You sure do know a lot, sir. So, what kind of powers does she have? She is a symbol of justice, not a superhero. It said the scales represent justice, the sword power, and the blindfold equality. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. I wonder what's suspicious. A pool of blood lies at the feet of the goddess statue. Hmm. Judging from the pool of blood, it seems that this was where the victim was killed. But sir, the body is over there. After murdering the victim, did the killer move the body? I'm assuming that's, um, Courtney. Excuse me. Oh my gosh! She's back! You are... Oh, yes, what is it? That voice. It's Von Karma, right? Um, do you know her, Granny? Good to see you again, Doctor. Were you expecting her to come back? No! Yes! <laughs> and you as well, Miles Edgeworth. What? What is she <laughs> doing here? I don't know. Franziska Von Karma. She's a prosecutor working with Interpol and the daughter of Manfred Von Karma. Who's dead? She should be getting she should be jetting around the world right now. Wherever there is a case, I will follow. National borders mean nothing before me. Your presence here must mean that this case has international significance. Mm -hmm. You know well enough that I'm chasing a smuggling ring. <laughs> I thought she 
is done with that. Maybe there are still some remaining members who are like, Maybe. let's start our own smuggling <laughs> ring now that Manny Coach and Alvis <laughs> is gone. Maybe. Manny Coach and Baby. I shall recover all the stolen goods and crush that organization. Speaking of which, I think you all should crush that like button. <laughs> then, does this oh, mean boy. the smuggling ring is also involved in this particular case? Any further information is confidential. I'm not obligated to speak of it to you. So it won't be that easy. Um, Miss Francisca Von Karma? Granny says... The autopsy is complete. You are free to do whatever you want. <laughs> Did you see Karen's eyes there? She's... <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> In that case, we would like to investigate as well. I've heard rumors about you. No way am I letting you near that body. You're the, person. You're the prosecutor who's about to get the poop. You best run on home, Scarlet, Sonny. Uh, um, just so you know, I wasn't the one who said that, okay? P please, Granny. We need to investigate, no matter what. Hey, Lassie, what were you calling Granny? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, also, weird fact, Bonnie Yun is only 60. <laughs> Ooh, she did not age well. <laughs> no, she did not. And Von Karma's 19. She's the same age as me! Da, 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 da. And she's an Interpol prosecutor. What have you done, Marty? <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I did audiobooks for Audible. That's pretty cool. And I, and I, uh, I, I can make a mean brownie. <laughs> that is on my Francisca feet. cannot. <laughs> she can't cook. You, you also have a driver's license. Francisca's still riding her tractor around everywhere. <laughs> that's, that's fine, though. She can get places. Which she has a jet now. We're not getting anywhere. Mm -hmm. I guess I have no other choice. Franziska, please allow us to aid you in your investigation. We must examine the body in order to find out what happened to Kay. To Kay Faraday? I'm asking you too, sir! Kay's in really bad shape! Oh, just wait till she meets the best! <laughs> I can't wait! <laughs> Guess who's getting whipped! <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but fine, I'll grant you permission. You have my thanks. Of course. I didn't say it would be coming without a price. You will explain everything to me later. We really owe you one, sir. I wasn't talking to you, Scruffy. He's up on the violence. Youch! This is the first time she's whipped anyone, though. And we've oh my been gosh, for five minutes. Francisca is Kyo grown up. <laughs> yeah, why do you think I like her? <laughs> so that's how it is. If you would be so kind as to authorize them to, Doctor. I suppose it's fine if he's with the prosecutor from Interpol. Is what she says. And I fully agree with Granny. By the Von Karma name, the entire world will be judged. That's just common knowledge. That's rather conceited for common knowledge. Well, it's none of my beeswax anymore. Is what she says. Um, I hope you don't get into trouble for this. You needn't worry. My reputation will not be shaken by something so petty. Unlike me, who is on the verge of losing his badge. Begin investigation, Grand Tower. Yeah, I see. Talk to, to Francisca. Talk to as don't as we as want said. to talk to old lady? Okay, fine. You sunnies want something? Is what she says. <laughs> Love the monkey drum in this song. <laughs> This is, play too. this is played when we've talked to Winston Payne, Simon Keyes, Frank Saw It, <laughs> and Larry Butts, I believe. <laughs> Miss Jensen, could you tell me about your relationship with Dr. Young? Yes. Ever since I was little, I've always been together with Granny. Wherever I got lost, she would search for me until it got dark. And whenever I fell down, she would watch over me until I could get up on my own. What a charming story. She sounds like quite the grandmother's child. And after I became a nurse, whenever I'm about to make a mistake with my injections... Not there! There! She'd say, as if she grabbed the needle and... Ouch! Ouch! Just hearing it hurts, pal! Please keep those stories to yourself! Anyways, as long as I have Granny by my side, there's no nursing I can't do. I... I see. I fully understand. Thank you for your cooperation. Regardless of her charming story, they do seem to share a very close-knit bond. Can we get some water? The real-life water? Yeah. I'm sure. Touched. 
And we're back. <laughs> Dr. Yun, you sure are a masterful coroner, sir. Or er, pal. <laughs> and it's coroner, I think. You work with such blinding speed and you make no wasted movements. What do you sunnies know about autopsies? You don't know the first thing about my work. Duh. Allow me to apologize for his rudeness. I will be sure to reprimand him later. <laughs> Listen up, youngin. It's my duty to perform the autopsy quickly and accurately. That's why I have no patience with those who get in the way of my work. My work. My work. Is what she says. Are you satisfied? Yes, very much so. We only wish to investigate. We have no desire to get in your way. Looks like Dr. Yun's stubbornness comes from her devotion to her work. The Dai Yun Hospital. The Dai Yun Hospital's a splendid hospital, and Granny's in charge of it. Well, how about it? Would you like to be admitted and experience it for yourself? That's right. Right now, there's an opening in our hospital suite with the outdoor spa. <laughs> Valkar would love that. He would love that. <laughs> Francisca's like, mm, say no more. <laughs> we are in good health. There is obviously no need for us to be hospitalized. That's right. We're perfectly healthy, pal. That's our sole redeeming feature. <laughs> wow. Just what does he mean by that? Well, you see, the Dai Young Hospital also accepts healthy patients. We're currently in the middle of our full of life, healthy hospital stays campaign. Those without injury or illness can stay at our hospital for half the price. Why would you need to stay at a hospital if you're healthy? This is the chance of a lifetime, so what do you say? Hospital stay! Hospital stay! Hmm. You know, an outdoor spot half price does sound like a good deal. <laughs> Don't fall for it! Alright, alright, now we'll talk to Francisca. Yes, what is it? I love her theme. A murder case at the PIC meeting room. Since you asked to cooperate in the investigation, I do hope you will be able to produce results. Naturally. Why do you think I am here? Well, now that you mention it, why are you here exactly? That's right. She still doesn't know about my PIC hearing today. The circumstances behind it are deeper than the sea, sir. Allow me to explain it on Mr. Edgeworth's behalf. Youch! Miles Edgeworth, I do not care about your circumstances. All that matters now is reaching the truth of this case. Am I wrong? Indeed, there is some truth in what you say. If you ask me, I don't think it's that that it's totally wrong. Ouch! I'll say this: whipping someone is easier than being worried. But being on the receiving end of the whip isn't easy at all. Ouch! Francisca von Karma. Stop them with the whip. Francisca, why are you here when you're supposed to be working with Interpol? Curious, are you? But it's confidential. I have no obligation to tell you. Hmm. Her response was as I expected. More importantly, shouldn't there be a prosecutor in charge of this murder case? I don't know who it is, but I was hoping it wouldn't be someone completely useless. Cue de best. <laughs> yeah. They're not even here yet. They're late. Just what is that fool doing? Yard! I have nothing to do with it, sir! I wouldn't think it's very commendable to just whip people at random. I swing, therefore I whip. That is my philosophy. I will whip anyone who slacks off in their work. To the yet unseen prosecutor in charge, I hereby offer you my sympathies in advance. It's gonna be the best. <laughs> Who else would it be? Winston, Winston Payne! Payne in charge! <laughs> Judging from your exchange just now, I take it you've met Dr. Yun before. How astute, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. That's right, she's an acquaintance of mine. Back then, it's a long story. It seems she doesn't intend to Maybe tell me anymore. Maybe what? she stayed at the hospital then. <laughs> she's like, this stupid shoulder, and she's like, I've seen worse, kid. <laughs> no, she was at the hottie clinic when she got shot. Oh, that's right. Shall I leave I'm it at sure that then? <laughs> so what happened back then? Please tell me all about it, sir. Yow! A foolish fool. Shamelessly prying into other people's business. Watch what you say, scruffy. How cruel! Whipping me out of the blue? With great whip comes great responsibility, sir! Ah, oh, one good whip deserves another! That scruffy fool gets the whip? Try harder, worthless whip rat and bait- Yow! Hmm. It appears I was right to leave it at that. 
Goodbye. All right. Well, that sure ain't Kay. This body? It's not Kay, sir! She, it doesn't look like her at all! Wait, you know who it looks like? If she opened her eyes, she'd look like, um, Eeny Miney. You mean Mimi Miney? <laughs> yeah, one of them. <laughs> She's technically still alive, so it could be. Of course, it isn't. Kay is alive after all. Her age is, I'd guess, around 30. And she's wearing a pantsuit. Definitely around 30. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she worked in one of the offices in this building. So, her identity is still unknown. She's got the same pink stuff that um, Kay was holding. She's got an ID card to get into the building. Yep. She's got white gloves just placed on her hip, which is super weird. Then it looks like a watermelon on the front of her shirt, but I know that it's three bullet holes. Maybe. The question now becomes, why did the police believe her name was Kay? I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. All right. There is some blood on her head. Maybe she was hit with something. We don't know that for sure. Our investigation will ultimately clear that up. Uh, let's look at the pink. Something seems to be pinned to her jacket. Hmm, it's made out of purple cloth. It looks like it's been forcibly torn off, doesn't it? Okay. So that was Kay's. There doesn't seem to be anything in this pocket. The pocket has holes in it, sir! Judging by how the cloth was pierced, she must have been stabbed by some sharp object. Okay, so she's stabbed. All your coins would fall out of those holes, sir! Detective, haven't you ever heard of a wallet? Of course I have, sir! I just use my pockets, though. Most people do, right? Never mind. <laughs> The left side of her white jacket has been stained a deep red. This jacket. The buttons are on the right side. Isn't that normal, sir? All of my clothes have buttons on the right side. For women, it is normal to have them on the left side. Hmm. Mr. Edgeworth, you really do know everything. That's like, just common wait. knowledge. I didn't know that. Hmm. So wait. When it's buttoned up, it's on the left side? Or the, the buttons, buttons The buttons themselves, themselves are, on, are the on the left. Yeah, that's true. They're on the left. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. But there doesn't seem to be anything out of place. Hmm. There's something white in her pocket. They're gloves! Pure white ones. One for each hand, sir. They don't seem to be dirty. Could they be the victims? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The left side of her white jacket- oh. I was looking at her hand, but apparently that's just part of it. There's a burn mark on her hand. Is it connected to the cause of death? No, it appears to be an old scar. She probably got it a long time ago. Hmm, it seems there is something in her hand. Detective, could you open her hand for me? Yes, sir! Understood! This is... Oh, I know! This must be a gift card from a department store- Yow! It seems to be a key card. Ugh! Wh why The question is, what was this key card for? It says security on the front. Also, there's a candelabra on the floor. Take this candelabra to Mother, George. There's nothing of interest here. There was definitely a candelabra there. Could it be that this mur this is the murder weapon, sir? A free pronged candelabra. It's consistent with the number of stab wounds. She was probably stabbed by the prongs of the candelabra. A candy zebra? I'm af afraid it's not quite what you're imagining, detective. A candelabra? is a candlestick holder with multiple arms. Ah, so it's a candle holder! You know, one time I forgot to pay my electric bill, and I had to get by with only candles! What, what time period are you from? <laughs> <laughs> candle over data dotted jotted down? Yeah. Get that paper. This notebook. Huh? Isn't that Kay's promise notebook? This is the notebook she wrote all of her promises to her father in. It really takes me back, sir. Yes. I forgot she had that outfit. Case promises to daddy, promise one, never take things from a stranger, promise two, never go anywhere with a stranger. When Kay was young, she and her father wrote the promises they made in this notebook. Always greet people with a smile, even people you don't know, never cry in front of strangers, always try your hardest to learn about things you don't understand. However, why is it in a place like this? Ah! Now that you mention it, I once heard something from Detective Bad a long time ago. It seems that before anyone had noticed, Kay's memento had gone missing! What? So a piece of evidence that was in police custody went missing? Detective Bat frantically searched all over for it, but it seems he never found it. What could this mean? 
Why was the missing notebook found here? You there? Do you happen to know anything about this notebook? The victim was carrying this notebook when we found her. That was the only evidence we had to identify the body. So that's why you called her Kay. What a misleading victim, huh? Why did she have Kay's notebook? I sure would like to have some information on the victim's identity, though. Yeah. Alright, well. That flower is the exact same one yeah, that Kay had. Yeah, that's what I had said. The purple flower Kay had with her. I wonder if that originally belonged to the victim. Now that you mention it, the cloth does look like the same one as the, on the one on the pin. Yes, let's compare them without delay. It's a perfect match, sir! Way to go, Mr. Edgeworth! Purple flower data updated. The fact that this flower belongs to the victim means... That can only mean that Kay Faraday came into contact with the victim. And about that corsage, it looks like it was forcibly ripped off. There is a possibility that Kay Faraday is connected to this case. And depending on the situation, we may have to consider her as a suspect. What did you say?! There's no way she did it! It's unthinkable! Kay could never do that, sir! However, it's true we have no evidence to deny that claim. It's nothing more than a possibility at the moment. Isn't that right, Miles? Edgeworth? Indeed. For better or for worse. Doo -doo -doo. I think it's logic time. Oh, we need a special key card, and she had that special key card. Why did we need to connect the two pieces of logic anyways? Perhaps the key card the victim was holding is for this room. I'll go find out, sir. Like, they could have just done that when we saw the key card. Mr. Edgeworth! From this room's security system, we were able to retrieve the data of the victim's card. So that means the victim was able to freely enter this room. If the card actually belonged to the victim, of course. Yes, of course. Key card data jotted down. Investigation complete! Is Francisca short, or is that lady freakishly tall? Karen? Yeah. Karen, I think, is kind of tall. So, the victim's identity remains unknown. Francisca's also... Oh, no, she's not super short. Um, should you really still be calling me Kay? Of course! What are you saying, pal? Thank you. But then, what about that woman? She is someone who you may have killed. That's all we know. There's no way that's true! Right, Mr. Edgeworth? I... Also, do not believe you killed her. You are such a naive man, Miles Edgeworth. Here I come to save the day! Hmm? That voice. I'm pretty sure that's Sebastian. Yep. Stupid yep. Sebastian! So don't be afraid anymore, for the best prosecutor is here today. That was literally the worst song I've ever heard. <laughs> That's not the worst one. That is the worst song I've ever seen. Sweetest poopsies hasten to my side. That was worse. Ursula's a better singer, so that was a little better. But Swim This Way is a bunch of people. Yeah, like Donald Duck. <laughs> Pardon the interruption. Mr. Edgeworth, get away from the victim. I have inherited her dying wish. No one asked for you. Hmm. Did you know the victim? <laughs> Are they siblings? Just as I thought. The goddess of law will surely reveal the truth to us. So please rest in peace. That's right, Justine. Now that I'm here, everything will be A-OK. -okay. The culprit will rue the day that he crossed paths with me. <laughs> Miles Edgeworth, who is this fool of a man? But why is she glaring at me? You are Francisca von Karma, am I correct? I apologize for my late introduction. I am Justine Courtney. Girl power. <laughs> oh, they're gonna get along splendidly. And the deceased individual is... Attorney Jill Crane, one of the members of the Prosecutorial oh! Investigation oh! Committee. Okay, well, Jill's dead, so I guess that it's eliminates guess everything. <laughs> so it's not freaking Jill anymore, she died. <laughs> Jill Crane? I think that's a normal name as well. Yeah, that seems normal. I see. So that's why she had the key card. I take it you're in charge of this case? That's right! And with me in charge, this case is as good as some- Yeah! That 
reminds me. I haven't caught your name yet. If you just wanted to know my name, you didn't have to whip me. <laughs> this is infinitely better. <laughs> just state your name. I will not tolerate any unnecessary remarks. <laughs> Sebastian the best. It seems the pecking order has been decided. <laughs> Miss Sebastian the best. <laughs> Miss. <laughs> no, it's okay. Just ignore it. <laughs> Here, this is from Granny. This is the autopsy report. <laughs> it seems you've been bested, Mr. Edgeworth. This wasn't a competition uh -huh. to begin with. My job is done. May we meet again in front of another corpse. <laughs> that was <laughs> okay, dark. Let's go home quickly and eat some noodles. They're getting some from Hill Dune, Sonny. Yeah. I'll be leaving too. Take care, everyone. And then she runs off and she's the actual person that killed everybody. And she can't be apprehended now. <laughs> the victim's head wound was post mortem. Sebastian. And the candelabra dealt the fatal blow. Estimated time of death is late last night. Shut up! <laughs> what, what is it, Justine? While I do appreciate your enthusiasm, perhaps you should give your tongue a rest. Wow. <laughs> you might pull a muscle. That would be painful indeed. Autopsy report jotted down the organizer. She didn't want us to have it. Anyways, it's quite clear now. K. Faraday must be arrested. What? What's the big idea, pal? It's just as he says, detective. The culprit is Miss K. Farden, the young lady in bandages over there, although she's not wearing her usual attire. Are you not Miss K. Faraday? And what would you do if she is K? If you're going to arrest her, then I will resist by any means necessary. That I guarantee you. I am now convinced. The doubts surrounding your suitability as a prosecutor were indeed warranted. It's fine, Mr. Edgeworth. You can go. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. What are you saying, Kay? You can't just go along with them, pal. But I... I don't remember anything. What if I really did kill that woman and then forgot about it? If that's true... Acknowledgement is the goddess's mercy. Atonement is her will. The goddess of law will surely praise you for your prudence. Sebastian and Judge Courtney, if you believe she is the culprit, on what basis do you make your accusations? Unless I'm completely convinced by your explanation, I will not obey your orders. Fine! Have it your way! Now sit tight and listen to the perfect reasoning of the best. <laughs> Why we suspect Kay. I am the best in the world. No one can do what I do. Yes, that's why I was the first to realize that Kay Faraday is the culprit. She broke into the meeting room in order to steal something. In other words, she's the only one who could have killed Miss Crane. I mean, that wasn't as pathetic as his first testimony. Yeah, that's true. His logic's as awful as ever, sir. Harsh words coming from you, detective. I asked for some basis to your claims, yet your reasoning has told me absolutely nothing. However, we have no evidence to prove she didn't do it either. Don't worry, Kay. I'm sure Mr. Edgeworth will pull off a miracle. Y you think my deductions are some kind of miracle work? <laughs> You'd better not disappoint me. Understand, Miles Edgeworth. Because if you do... This whip of mine won't stay silent. <laughs> we'll have to rebut uh, Mr. DeBest next her time so on um, Miles at your face turning investigations too. You, you, is Franziska like your favorite character? One of, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> She's just fun. She voice. grew on me a bit. I still hate the fact that she like whips people for no oh, reason. Oh yeah, though. oh yeah. Th this is more like the hate the sin, not the sinner type of thing. <laughs> But she's making no attempt to stop herself. I agree. It's just like, this is... <laughs> I am Shadow the Hedgehog. I whip people whenever I want. This, this is, is who, who I, I am. am. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, look forward to next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.